hey it's rebecca with rain studio and today we have another pedicure today's pedicure does include a gel polish removal and here i'm just clipping away what could possibly be lifted um, i just started offering gel polish on toes not too long ago so i'm still trying to figure out how to avoid having any skin under the polish if that makes sense if you do pedicures you know what i'm talking about um but even though i do a really deep clean with the water pedicure i just don't feel like it gets everything which causes the gel polish to lift at the very cuticle area if that makes sense to anyone hopefully it does um, i do plan on switching from gel polish to a different brand of polish that you know dries quickly and is really sturdy so i'm hoping to do that this month and i'm really hoping and praying that my clients are on board because not only is filing off gel polish straining on my body and my wrists but it is also very tedious like i said i always want to make sure i'm not filing away at the natural nail plate so even though i have tools or e-file bits that really help with that i still would rather not have to do this part and just get right into the pedicure now i did think about switching to doing dry pedicures when it comes to clients that want enhancements such as acrylic poly gel or gel polish but the equipment i need for that is pretty pricey so that's going to be put on hold for a bit but this is just my thought process right now um, once I buff everything with the sanding man, I'm going to have um, some cuticle softener just to start getting those cuticles pushed back, cleaned up, and of course trim her toenails. wow the skin is a little bit soft i'm gonna go ahead and do my dry file this does not cause dust to fly everywhere since the foot is still a bit moist but i've been using this in place of my angel foot file and i really like this method and i really do want to offer those dry pedicures so god willing i will be able to buy the equipment that i need um, but once I do a little dry filing, I'm going to go in and push those cuticles back with my angled cuticle pusher. And then I will trim the toenails. So the key to the tools that we're using for pedicures is to make sure that they're not too bulky. For instance, this angled cuticle pusher, you want to make sure it's really skinny. That way you can cover more of the nail plate opposed to a thick tool that will just really get in the way of itself and then as far as the nippers go when you are trimming toenails your your nippers will tend to get a bit dull just because of you know the fact that toenails are a bit thicker so make sure that you have a separate set a set for nails and then or for fingers and then a set for toes because when you're doing wet pedicures you really don't have to trim that much of the cuticle most of that will be filed away so the nippers for me are really just for clipping the toenails and for example on the next tool i'm about to use it just helps scoop out any debris or dead skin that might be in the sidewalls or underneath the toenail and something that i've learned over time is that as the skin and the nail plate are soft if you're using a tool that is too hefty or aggressive, it can start to help lift that nail plate off of the nail bed. 
So really, you're just doing more damage um, than good when you are providing a service with tools that are not meant for pedicures. So make sure they're skinny, make sure they're small. That way you can get the best results for your restorative pedicures for your clients. I did skip a few steps in the video just to shorten these clips a bit, but you'll see here I'm starting on the right foot, just making sure that nothing is lifted before I hit it with the e-file. I will file off most of the color, then go in with sanding band for the base coat. And like I said, the client does like her toenails on the more lengthier side, so that's what you'll see today. We will go ahead and go in with gel polish again to get her that same desired look with the French tips. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. You can also follow me on Instagram at BeccaB underscore. And of course, don't forget to subscribe as we are almost at 10K.